Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. This is the week of December 14th, 2020. And as you can tell, a little bit of a different setting this week. Uh, I'm actually on the road, so I'm recording on the road for this week and the following week. But I've got five topics this week. And the first one is, actually Pilot Institute is in the news. We are partnering with drone responders to bring uh, public safety drone training uh, to, well, the public safety world. So we have more information on that in a second. I want to talk about DJI that is bringing in a new DJI Enterprise Advanced. This is an upgrade to their uh, pr previous Enterprise model. I want to talk about a flamethrowing drone. Some of you sent me that video and I want to talk a little bit about it. And then I want to talk about possibly remote ID coming up uh, today, actually, if you watch this video on the day that it is released. And then the last thing, we'll talk about our new uh, Drone Busters uh, video series that is coming up. So let's get started. And the first thing this week, I'm actually really excited. Uh, we have been working on this for a while and we are partnering with drone responders. Now, if you're not familiar with drone responders, they are the world leading non-for-profit organization that is in charge of helping people in the public safety world um, basically fly with their drones and operate in their departments with a drone. So we are working with drone responders to provide a, a series of courses. And the first one is just released is a course to help people get certified under part 107 and get ready to operate under a COA. And, uh, and we're really excited about this, bringing our expertise in teaching and in part 107 and working with drone responders to basically get the rest of the information to all these departments. They have been working with uh, hundreds if not thousands of uh, public safety agencies across the country to get them ready for operating and doing this safely. So uh, really excited to be working. Uh, uh, Charles Werner is the director of Drone Responders and we have been working with him, an uh, amazing uh, person that has a ton of knowledge about this industry. So this is going to be uh, really great. The uh, we are going to be providing a financial support for drone responders based on the sales from this course. So this is something that's really exciting. If you are in the public safety world out there, uh, please contact us. We do have a volume discount available for this course. And if you're a drone responders uh, a member already, uh, then that's going to give you even more information. So um, this, take a look on our website. You can go to drone responders as well. And then I'll put links down here so you can see a little bit more information. The next thing this week is DJI released a new drone. Now, everybody was kind of waiting for the FPV drone, but this is not what they actually released this week. Uh, what they released was called the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. You may be familiar with their Enterprise lineup. They, have a, they had a Mavic 2 Enterprise already lined up. Now they've kind of upgraded this. This new one has a dual camera. So it has a thermal camera that is 640 by 512, and then also has the 48 megapixel ability, now I say 48 megapixel, it still comes from the, the half inch sensor, the 12 megapixel half inch sensor. I think it is probably the same sensor that you find on the Mavic Air 2 that has the capability of doing a 48 megapixel using some um, algorithm in the drone in itself. There's optional equipment available for this drone, including an RTK module. Uh, this is something that's new that we've actually seen with Hotel. Hotel had released some information uh, with the um, uh, additional module that could go onto their Evo 2 uh, jewel that uh, can be added. Well, we saw this, it was a, a Chinese release at the time. We haven't seen it in the US yet. Uh, other uh, equipment that can go on there, we have the spotlight, we have speakers, we have a beacon for flying at night, and uh, it looks like it's going to be compatible with the smart controller as well. So we don't have a pricing yet, but it looks like in Q1 of 2021 is when it's going to come out. Uh, there's also available on here the local uh, data mode that we have talked about earlier this year when uh, DJI kind of get in the news for uh, supposedly having information that could be leaked. Uh, the local data mode keeps all the data locally, and which by the way has been released for DJI Go 4. So if you're using Go 4, that was released uh, earlier this week as well in the app uh, via an update. So go, go ahead and take a look at that. The drone in itself has the ability to do 32X digital zoom and 16X uh, thermal zoom. Uh, on the uh, on the dual camera and it has 24 gigs of internal data storage which is cool uh, if you you know want to just keep all the data located right here on the drone uh, then uh, then this is one of the options so I'll put a link down here if you want to see more information then go ahead and uh, visit that page 
The next thing, we've uh, a lot of you have sent this video to me and uh, was even posted in our group, our Pilot Institute Drone Student Group, a uh, flank throwing drone. And this came from a, a rescue team in China called the Blue Sky Rescue Team. And they posted this video and you can see it playing in the background right here. Uh, they've basically purchased a $12,000 drone, they said in, uh, in the article, and uh, they added a gas tank to it with a nozzle and an arm. And basically they're, they're able to throw flames using this thing. Now they're doing it for, I guess, good purposes at this stage. They're dis using it to destroy wasp nests. And uh, they've destroyed 11 so far, and they said they have 100 more to go that they want to do. So uh, just kind of an interesting thing. We had seen something similar in the past. I think they were using it to clean uh, power lines when um, I think it was uh, webs or something that had gotten caught in power lines. And they were using the same kind of technology to, uh, to spray flames to basically get rid of all these things. So, uh, okay, the last topic, somewhat last topic. Uh, kind of a big topic, remote ID. We've talked about remote ID for a while now, for a year pretty much, uh, since the uh, NPRM came out. And the FAA said that there was going to be final ruling coming out in uh, December of this year. December is winding down. Um, my gut feeling, okay, my gut feeling is that this Friday will be the day that FAA re releases remote ID. And the reason I'm saying this is... Um, Bad news are always released on a Friday, right? You fire people on a Friday, that's what they say. Um, so <laughs> we, we, hopefully this is something positive, but uh, my guess is that this will be released this Friday. Next Friday is, is Christmas, and then the following Friday is New Year's. So I'm guessing that the information will come out in a couple of days from when I'm recording this on the day that you're watching this video. So keep an eye out for Remote ID. Uh, if that doesn't happen, I'm sure earlier in the following week is when the information will be released. Um, and, and then we'll have final ruling. So we'll have final ruling on Remote ID. We'll have final ruling on another NPRM that had come out earlier in the year, which was something to do with uh, night flying, flying over people. There's supposed to be some changes to make things a little bit easier. So. The last thing I want to talk about is something fun. We are starting a new series. Uh, this is not going to be a weekly series because of the, the time it takes to create these videos, but uh, we're calling it the Drone Busters series. And we released the first article, the first uh, episode this week on Wednesday. And uh, in this first episode, we're actually testing a parachute. And the idea with this series is to do something a little bit more fun with drones and testing things that maybe you are asking questions about. So some of you had, uh, had questions about the, the parachute, a cheap parachute that can be found on Amazon. So we bought one, we slapped it on the drone, and then we shut down the motors and see what happened. And uh, so we have a full video explaining what happened. Uh, there's some good lessons learned in there uh, and uh, something that we will not do in the future, I can tell you that. So, uh, so with that being said, this is it. Uh, I will be back in the studio in two weeks. So next week we will be here again in this, uh, in this setting and talking about and we'll have a video about remote id if remote id comes out between now and then to obviously keep you updated with what is going on so that's all i have um, as always subscribe we're actually this close to 10,000. we may actually be at 10,000 followers by the time this video gets released but if not please uh, subscribe down here to take us there uh, this is kind of a big uh, step for this channel and uh, that's all i have we have a great weekend and uh, we'll see you next week